Hey everybody, how you doing today? Today we're going to look at another 3-in-1 wet-dry vacuum combo. Uh, this one's a little bit more budget-friendly than some of the other ones I have tested on this channel. Currently it's $2.29 on Amazon, which is a pretty good price, and it should be just as good as the other ones without all the bells and whistles, such as basically self-drying and a, an app that can connect to your phone. So there's everything that comes straight out of the box. You get an extra roller, an extra air filter, a brush to help clean inside the system, some cleaning solution, and of course the base and the power plug. As you can see, it has a really nice LCD screen and currently it is charging. It has some lights that go around as it's charging, which is pretty cool. Neat little touch to it. Uh, this one does have the largest clean water tank that I've seen so far at 1,000 milliliters, and the dirty is at 800 milliliters, so that's going to last a lot longer, and you don't have to fill up the water quite as often, which would be nice. So this is going to be a quick video and review of what I think about it. Like I said, I've tested like five or six of these now, so I'll tell you pretty quickly if it's good or not. And to be completely honest, every single one I've tested, even the other budget-friendly ones have been really good. So I anticipate this one's going to be great. These are super, super easy to use. It's definitely the future of mopping. And if you mop by hand, you definitely want to pick one of these up. This is just so simple to use. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration. I'll show you how it automatically cleans itself. And then I'll empty it out into my sink and you can see just how dirty the water is. All right, so it's very simple to use. You just pull it off the dock. There's a couple of buttons here. Of course, this one turns it on and then this one changes the, the mode and the suction power. If it's on the dock when you hit the power button, that'll tell it to automatically start cleaning the roll. Pretty simple technology to be honest. It's just a roller that spins. There's a squeegee behind it. And the whole time this is going, it is putting water onto the roller, keeping it clean the entire time and squeegeeing up all the water as it goes. So you don't really have a very wet floor even after this cleans it. It usually dries within a few minutes and these things just do awesome job at keeping your house much, much cleaner. I had some uh, ice cream that I dumped out, as well as some ketchup, and all those little black specks are mini chocolate chips. So the cool thing about these too, it's not just for mopping up liquid messes. On hard floors it works just like any type of vacuum. So it'll run over all these chocolate chips with no issue, suck all them all, suck them all up into the bin, along with the ice cream, the ketchup, and I did put a little bit of water mixed in there too. Then afterwards, you just go over it a few more times. It gets rid of any stickiness, any smell, and these things just work great. I'm gonna show it to you right now. You're gonna be quite impressed if you've never seen one of these. All right guys, so this is a huge mess. Mopping this up by hand would be an absolute pain in the butt, or just cleaning it up with some towels. It would take a very long time. Of course, you're not gonna have this type of mess ever, but your kid will eventually drop a bowl of cereal or something like that, and this will just suck it up with no issue. This is probably five times harder to clean than a bowl of cereal. And you'll see how easy it easily cleans this up compared to any other mess you can think of. So right now we're in automatic mode. You see by the blue light there. And then those little digits, when I hit the max mode, that's going to increase the suction and also the amount of water that's put down, making the job even easier to clean. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here's some just simple chocolate chips. problem. Let's go ahead and get on to the hard part.
there you have it. As you can see, no problem whatsoever. It got up all that nastiness pretty easily. And at the end, you just go over it a few more times. So since that roller is constantly getting wettened by the system, if you keep going over it after you clean it up, it's not going to leave any stickiness at all. So it's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and set it on the dock, and I will show you how easy it is to clean. And then we'll wrap up this quick review. Set it on to the dock, which will also charge it. Charging start. Please open self-clean mode. Please clean the slot bucket to avoid unusual smell. Of course, it reminds you to go ahead and clean it, and you just hit this power button. Start self-cleaning. Start cleaning the roll brush. And what this does is it floods that little area where the brush is with water and then it will suck it out and do that several times while it's spinning and there's little nubs underneath that are going to help break apart anything that is stuck to the roller. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up this quick review of the Tab T6 Pro. Once again, it's only $229, which I think is a pretty dang good deal. I know it goes on sale every once in a while for $199. Uh, I'll throw the link down below. It'll take you directly to Amazon if you're interested in purchasing it. And based off the test you just saw, it is a great three-in-one wet-dry vacuum. So very happy with it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video at all, please smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing, and uh, you all have a great day. See ya.